GPT-4's been out for 24 hours and we've seen some remarkable things being built with GPT-4 and Replit. So one of the first things we've seen about GPT-4 is that the output and the input can be huge. And this makes a big difference when we're trying to ask GPT-4 to build us code. It almost handles full stack development in one go. Take a look at this thread that we saw on Twitter. It took a small amount of time to build a snake game in JavaScript. Let's see if we can replicate that. I'm using OpenAI's Playground here, so we can talk directly to GTP4 and be 100% sure that's what we're getting. The output will look a little bit different, but it's exactly the same engine. So I'm gonna start with a very simple prompt. No prompt engineering here at all, folks. So you can see here that GTP4 is much better at dealing with long responses than its predecessor ever was. We've all spent time asking ChatGPT to finish off what it started. So it seems quite comprehensive. Let's see how much of this it hallucinated. So step one, HTML REPL, and we're gonna replace the contents of index.html with what it's just given us. Okay, let's replace our CSS file. It's very thorough. And our script.js. It all looks quite valid. Now what I like about this is the instructions. Now click on add file button in Replit and create a new JavaScript file called snake.js with this code in it, okay. Another one called fruit.js with this code in it. Finally, update our index page. Well, okay, but that seems to be doubling up on work for us. And let's see what we get. Well, <laughs> this is amazing. This is a working snake game. That's that's fantastic. Look, the body even grows. I'm controlling this with the arrow keys at the moment. This is this is amazing. Just that change in the amount of data that it can pass, the amount of data it can push out. It's just fascinating. That's amazing. He does not seem to be being damaged by hitting the wall though. So let's take a look. Now, as GPT-4 is based on GPT-3.5 Turbo, it uses the same sort of messages construct. So there's no faffing about with teaching it how to do stuff, we can just get stuck straight in. So if I add another message from the user here, it should continue the conversation. Okay, so let's go and follow these instructions. Update the snake function to include a lives property. Create a reset function in snake.js that resets it. So that all needs to go in the this.update function. Maybe that's it. Let's refresh that. Oh, here we go. Oh, fantastic. That worked as well. That's amazing. Now, the chat functionality is what lets you add and keep adding to that and change the way that worked. That is fantastic. GPT-4, I take my hat off to you if I was wearing a hat. So there's still more, of course, we can do. The, the snake doesn't reset to the starting position, so we might need to go back and add that. But you can see here how that extra long processing on GPT-4, how the fact that it can deal with many more tokens and output longer and longer results and understand the conversational style has a massive impact upon what it can produce. And Replit's the ideal place to prototype this code because we can go from getting it out of GPT-4 to seeing it work in seconds. Why don't we try getting it to be a bit artistic? SVG is programmatically stored, so let's see if it can draw somebody like me and output it as an SVG. <laughs> That's not bad at all. I'm not sure what the beard is about though, so let's see if we can get rid of that. Well, the beard's gone, inquisitive eyebrows are there. This is pretty cool. I think we could work on this. I mean, this isn't even Dali. This is absolute bog standard GPT-4 and it's doing beautiful SVG drawings for us. That's really cool. 
It's worth remembering that if you want to get into the code and use your OpenAI API key to build your own chatbot, we have two templates for GPT-4, one in Node.js and one in Python. And this seriously allows you to get started with OpenAI in about 30 seconds. All you need to do is go to Secrets, pop in your OpenAI API key, and you're good to go. This is a really, really fun and easy way to get into the nitty gritty of hard coding your own AI functionality in Replit using GPT-4. So they're just a few of the things we've seen GPT-4 do in the last 24 hours. What amazing thing can you build with GPT-4 and Replit? Post your links in the comments and share it with us. We'd love to see what you build.